We're programming an application launchpad for Windows. I'm Hugh. This is the second lesson in a short series on how to program this launchpad. If you missed the first lesson, you may want to go back and watch that first. OK, so now let's get started. In the last lesson, I programmed this little program. It lets me drag a single file from the Windows File Explorer onto a text box. To launch the file or the program, I click this button. Now in this lesson, I'll explain how you can drag and drop multiple files. This time, I'll be using a list view instead of a simple text box. And when I want to run a file, I'll double click its name in the list box instead of clicking a button. Eventually, I plan to get rid of the list of files and have a more visual type of app launcher with buttons and icons. But before I do that, I need to make sure that I know how to handle multiple files dragged and dropped from the Windows File Explorer. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. This is actually pretty simple to do. Now here, I've got a list view in the centre of my form and I have to have this as a drop target. I explained all this in my last lesson. Well, here, just to set it as the drop target, I've gone into the uh, properties down here and I've just set allow drop to true. And then I've had to create two event handlers. Again, I've explained the basics of this in the last lesson. So the event handlers here are, are drag drop and drag enter. Now, let's have a look at these. Let's have a look at drag drop. So here's the drag drop event handler. This time it gets an array of file names. In fact, the full paths to all the files that have been dropped if you drop multiple files from the file explorer. And in the for each loop, it gets each path S and adds that to the items of the list view. I need one more event handler to launch a file when its name is double clicked. That's the list views double click event handler. Now this gets the text of the selected item in the list view, list view one dot focused item dot text, and it then calls launch file uh, to launch to run the the program that uh, that was selected, and the launch file method is the same. It's the same as from my last project. It uh, it was previously associated with the button, and that just launches the file from the list view. And that's all there is to it. So let's try it out to make sure it all works. So I run it. There's the form. Get some uh, files from the File Explorer. Select three files. Drop them onto the form. So there's the, the files in my list view. And now I can run or launch one of those files just by double clicking it. And that's what's going to run this launch file method. Double click this one, up it pops, and it's the PDF that we showed from the previous uh, example. So there you are. Now, if you're happy to launch files in this way, you can use this application more or less as it is. Personally, though, I'd prefer to have buttons and icons rather than list items. And I also want to have some way of saving the list of files so that they're reloaded when I next run my program. I will start work on programming that, all those features, in the next lesson. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And to be sure not to miss new lessons, remember to subscribe to my channel and click that bell. And I'll see you again for more soon.